Hi, this is Krish from Informatica Customer Success Team. Today I'm going to discuss on the IACS mass ingestion streaming using REST V2 source. Reading data from a REST API um, using stream ingestion is very simple. Um, we can use mass ingestion streaming um, REST as a source. The REST V2 source connected is a very generic connector for the cloud applications with the REST API call. Uh, it supports the Swagger specification version 2.0 uh, in a streaming ingestion task. Use only a hosted URL of a Swagger application file as the Swagger file path. That's the only difference. Um, just keep this as a note. In the stream ingestions, this is a current limitation that Swagger file path should be hosted on any URL. Um, user can also use a git uh, to host the URL, but that is required for using the REST V2 connector. Let's move into a demo and I'm gonna show you how to build a um, cloud mass ingestion streaming job. And I will gonna read um, from a REST API uh, with a specific endpoint um, to build a end to end jobs and how it runs. Uh, to read to fetch data as a real time. Let's log into the ISS. For a demo purpose, I have already created a connection. Um, if you have noticed that the connection type I have set as a REST V2, let me edit this connection so that I can show you end to end like what are the information we have to put while selecting this REST V2 connector for a mass ingestion streaming. Um, the connection name is a free text. It's a your choice what needs to be typed. The type is a REST V2 connection. Runtime environment authentication I have choose standard. There are multiple different authentication type that you choose. And here you see the swagger path I have um, used a hosted URL uh, on a git. Let me show you um, from where this um, particular um, endpoint of the, sw the Swagger definition I have placed and uploaded into the Git. This is my um, GitHub repository where I have created a branch. Um, within that repository branch, I have uploaded a um, Swagger definition activity log v json and that is um, uploaded um, the same swagger definitions uh, let me show you uh, this is the definitions that i got from a REST api this is the endpoint of an activity log of a REST api um, if i hit this rest um, we should be able to get the all activity log definitions with a json format so I'm gonna consume that information uh, using the stream mass ingestion. So here is my connections for an activity log with the JSON Swagger file, which is um, hosted in a new URL. The connection has successfully untested. Let's move into build a job. Let's build the job. I'm choosing stream ingestion task. Oh, interval I set as a 10 seconds header key I'm using IC session ID for authentication
is a variety of target connections for this demo um, I'll be writing into a target flat file directory apply this so this is up and running You can see it started reading events. Um, this overall overview, this gives any if it's any alert, performance, and fast runs. It, it doesn't have this the first time running. You see this started running and it started flowing the data. Let's have a look of the file. Here is the file, it started writing the data. You can see all the data is coming here. If we refresh. Events, it's moving. You can see now the events are gradually increasing. Um, we can see the performance and as well as the data is continuously refreshing. So we can see all the data is coming to the target file directory. So thus ending our overall demo, how to build a stream ingestion dust. Um, you can call any REST API and you can plug into this uh, mass ingestion stream service to read from an api and um, this because this is a real-time data you can continuously fetch it will continuously running and uh, you should be able to write data to any uh, s3 bucket or any specific file locations any any local directory and you can use that file for further processing um, because the file is a JSON format so if you like to um, convert from the unstructured data to a structure you can also uh, use a parser structure parser or something to parse the data and load into a relational format in case if you need that or in case if you were looking for this kind of information for an audit inform uh, especially for uh, the activity log you can use that uh, to an S3 bucket and from there you can use a uh, any other uh, yeah, applications to uh, read that JSON file for plug into any systems or any anywhere so this is the overall demo of how the stream uh, mass ingestion is gonna work end to end level we love to hear from you you can use any of the two links to send your to provide your feedback or any if you have any additional questions thank you so much for watching this video